When you're asked to graph a linear inequality in the plane problem type 2 in Alex, you're going to graph it on the coordinate plane and they're going to give you some kind of inequality like x is greater than or equal to 6. It's supposed to be the little equal to sign there. So the first thing you do is you think about that equation in terms of you drop the inequality and write it as an equation. And then the next thing you need to do is graph this line on the coordinate plane. So if you know how to do that, then you're set. But if you don't remember, one of the things I always do is think of it um, like this. If I say x is 6, then I'm telling you that x always has to be 6. y can be anything. There's no restriction on y. It's not in your equation. So you can just pick a few values for y. So maybe we'll pick a negative 3, 0, and a positive 2. And you can graph these points on the line and you'll see in your equation, your equation represents the line where x is always 6. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 6, negative 3, plot that point. And 6, 0. Did I go out? 3, 4, 5, 6, yeah, 6, 0 and then 6, positive 2. And then you're going to draw this line. Now, if I had made this... And then this line is going to be a solid line. Okay? Um, because of the equal to part of your, of your um, inequality. So because of the equal to part, it's a solid line. That means that your, um, your graph, your solution could be a point on the line or it could be in the shaded region. Now, um, since this is an x graph, I read this as x is greater than. Now there's a shortcut you can use to graphing this, and that is if you read it in terms of the variable. So x is greater than the 6 value. So x is going to be greater than this line. What x values are greater than this line? They're the values that are to the right. So x is greater than shades to the right. x is less than you would shade. Whoops, let me change that. You would shade that um, to the left of the, of the line. Okay, think about that for a little bit. x values are getting bigger over here. x values are smaller to the left of that line. So that what x values are greater than? they're going to be to the right. The other thing you could do is actually just pick a value on either side of the line, like 0, 0 here, and see if it makes it true. If it does, then that is a point, that is a, a solution, um, and you need to shade that side. If it's false, then you shade the other side. Okay? I'm just going to show you this method. If you'd like me to show you that other method, go ahead and contact me, and I'll create another video for that. Okay, so this is going to be um, y is less than 2. There's no equal to part, so that uh, means it's going to be dashed, a dashed line. And we graph y equals 2. So remember, y is always 2. x can be anything, but y has to be 2. OK, so x could be um, negative 2, 0, and 3. And so let's plot those points. When x is a negative 2, y is positive 2. It's that point right there. When x is 0, y is 2. When x is 3, y is 2. And then we're going to go ahead and graph that line. And it's going to be dashed, remember? Because there's no equal to part in your inequality. Now we need to determine if we shade above and below. So what I want you to remember is above this line, these value, y values are bigger. And below the line, the y values are getting smaller, right? So right, these are bigger, these are smaller. So this is y is less than. Less than is going to be below the line. I'll change that to this. So you would shade this region below your line. So that means your, um, your solution represents this part.
part of the graph. Anything below this line, but not including the line. That's what the dash means. The dash means the line is a boundary, but it's not part of the solution. Let's look at one more. So here I give you x is greater than a negative 3. So there's no equal to part, so I, it's going to be dashed, a dashed line and x equals a negative 3, make an xy chart here, x always has to be a negative 3, but y could be anything, so it could be negative 2, 0, 2. Okay, so plot those points when x is a negative 3, y is a negative 2, when x is a negative 3, y is 0, when x is a negative 3, y is a positive 2. It's going to be a dashed line. And then I read this x is greater than, x values are greater than or to the right of the line. So I shade that region. So basically, your solution is anything. Um, in this shaded region and not on the line. The line is a boundary.